Hello Internet and welcome back to some more Battle Spot. Now, this is potentially going to be the last time I use this gravity team, uh, for at least a while anyway. So, um, I know we've seen a lot of games with this team. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, um, I will have this new team because I'm recording this in the past, you know, a long time ago. Uh, not that long ago really. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we'll have a new team to, to play with basically. And um, this one, okay, so we've seen the strengths, we've seen how it's good, we've seen the weaknesses as well, I guess. Um, you know, it can be picked apart quite easily. Uh, last Battle Spot season, I got over, you know, quite comfortably over 1,800 um, on the special ladder. And on this time, we are like struggling to, you know, stay in the 1,700s, which is actually pretty terrible, to be honest. Um, I'm sure, I mean, yeah, okay, so we've been unlucky in a few games. Um, I'm sure if I, um, you know, sat down in a darkened corner and concentrated on the games, then I'm sure I could probably get this up to, to 1,800 again, but um, I don't know, there's lots of factors in it. I mean, the team is a lot more well-known now. People are a lot more prepared for it. Uh, so it's um, it's interesting to see how, how a team and just this one person like me like my youtube channel isn't huge or anything but how influential i have been with this team how many players have been out there using it themselves and it's become something that people need to um consider when making their teams now which is quite interesting and you know it's nice to see how how far the the spread has the, the spread the seed has been spread uh but we find someone from japan another one from japan as we are hopefully going to send this team off um, in a blaze of glory. It would be nice to, uh, you know, finish it over 1,700, wouldn't it? So, uh, fingers crossed we, uh, we actually do. Um, he doesn't have a Smurgle. He switched it for the Amoongus, which makes me even more willing to lead with Salamence here. I think Salamence looks really nice against this team. If he leads... Um, I don't know, Amoongus Xerneas I suppose would be the worst lead. Maybe Kangaskhan Xerneas would be a little bit tricky for us here as well. Um, especially if it's scrappy. That wouldn't be very nice. But uh, I can't remember what this guy's rating was. I don't think it was that high, was it? So I don't know. Uh, it's always the same on Battle Spot. You never really know what sort of level of prediction to, to be making. Um, because you can't really judge based on someone's rating. So, it's just, I don't know, it's just just one of those things, isn't it? I mean, that's that's just Pokemon in a nutshell, really. Um, you never know what to do. That is, Pokemon VGC. Yeah. It's not a good message, is it, really? Because um, you should know what you're doing. And my opponent should really know what he's doing as well, because, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's not, it's not like, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is the first time he's used the big six team. You never know. His rating wasn't that high. But, alas, the battle commences, and soon, on one side, all of the Pokemon will be unconscious. Isn't that, you know, it's a lovely sort of thought, isn't it, that, okay, so we see Salamence and, uh, Lovely thought that like you got these two trainers that have got Pokemon and one of them, one of these trainers Pokemon are all going to be knocked out by the end of the battle. They're all going to be unconscious. Would you as a trainer put your, you know, loving your Pokemon, would you throw them out knowing that they're potentially going to get knocked out? Um, I don't know, I'm being silly aren't I? Just tell me to shut up will you? Um, Okay, so I don't think we're going to go for a gravity here. Um, but maybe... Hmm. Maybe... Because with the Intimidate, a double edge won't knock out his um, Talon Flame. So I think I'm going to go for a Taunt here. Um, I'm just a little bit worried if he... Yeah, maybe this wasn't the best of moves, because... Sableye could be in Brave Bird range next turn. So I didn't really play this move this turn very smartly. And this is what I was saying in the last video, that 
You just, like, when you use a team so often, he's going for a, what? A, a taunt himself or a flare blitz? Yeah, he's going for a taunt himself. Wow. <laughs> How about that? Um, like, you don't really think about turns anymore. Like, this is, like, what I was saying at the beginning of this video as well. Like, if I sat down, like, in a, you know, in a, in a cave with the DS and, you know, really thought, then maybe, maybe we would be closer towards that 1,800. But, uh, nevertheless, um, he can just Brave Bird my Sableye here. Uh, it is intimidated, so maybe it won't knock, knock it out. I mean, I've got to hope that it won't. I don't think he'll knock the Salamence out, but yeah, if he knocks my Sable out and his Salamence wins the speed tie, then this is not good. Yeah, so that is that's one criteria. And we get this one. Okay, so <laughs> So that was risky, like and it all came down to um like me not using gravity. I really should have gone for the gravity. Um on that first turn, I don't know what I was what I was thinking really. I played that really risky because now he's probably got well not his mega, so not Kangaskhan. I doubt he'll have brought Amoongus, so it will be Xerneas and Groudon come in in my face right now. So what do I do? Do I send that Whimsicott? Um, or do I send in Groudon? I think I send in Groudon. And hope, I guess. Well, that is a Xerneas. And the next one is... That's a Groudon, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm, I've got to... Hmm. Tricky. Very, very tricky. I mean, I could just press Blades on Hyper Voice. That would cover his Groudon. But he could protect that and go for a Geomancy. Um, in which case, my Groudon would still be at full health. Do I want to try and predict a Geomancy and switch to Whimsicott? So that I can Encore it? Because if he just goes for a Precipice Blaze Dazzling Gleam himself, then we're, you know, that was a waste of a turn, a waste of a Pokemon. So maybe I do just have to, as much as I don't really want to, just fire off moves. Just press the buttons. So, I don't know. Well, he hasn't protected, so if we do win a speed tie here, then we've won the game. Um, if it is a speed tie, I mean, you've got to presume that it is a fast one. Uh, and it needs to be special as well to knock out my Groudon in one hit. So if it is Presbus Blades himself, then... Um, yeah, I think we're right. Then I should survive, unless he gets a critical hit. Um, so he wins the speed tie. He does <laughs> have Earth Power. He does... is the special one. Okay, so that's annoying. But uh, the reason why I sort of stopped halfway through that and I said, but I should be alright, is because I thought, if that does happen, then... Um, I can bring Whimsicott in, Encore the Geomancy, and I can get another Hyper Voice onto this Groudon. So unless it's got, like, Hidden Power Ice, or Stone Edge, my Salamence should be surviving this turn, and I should be okay. So we're going to Encore that, and go for, ooh, not a Double Edge, go for a Hyper Voice. Because uh, I think I should be alright. I think I should be alright. Like, an eruption will do nothing, obviously. Thunderbolt. Well, this shouldn't knock Sa uh, Salamence out. Ooh. That was close. Well, okay. So we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna Encore the... Um, yeah, Encore and Hyper Voice again. And, again, we've won the game, because... Unless he hasn't pp up his... Protect... And it gets to the point where I can't Encore him into um, Protect anymore, I suppose. 
But I've still got my sash. So, I mean, I've still got that in my favor as well. I don't know. I, we should be all right here. I'm pretty sure we should be all right. But, uh, well, I did not expect Thunderbolt. Um, and it almost knocked me out. I'm, I'm a bit surprised. I suppose it is because this is a naive Salamence. Um, oh, poor naive Salamence. He doesn't know how to how to take Thunderbolts. Um, and now, I can't remember if his Protect was successful or not last turn. I'm not going to double edge because I don't want to knock myself out to recoil. Um, I could Tailwind, actually, because that would make us faster, make us, make us both faster. So I should have been paying attention. Not that, I don't think it really matters, but... Um, okay, so he Protected, and then... Yeah, if he got a double protect, then it was a, du a double protect. So I think I will go for a tailwind this turn. And yeah, he fought. I mean, he knows that the game is over at that point. Um, he didn't want to try and whittle his way through um, his protect PPs, but even even still, I would have been firing moonblast after moonblast at him um, with Variora boost. It would have done a little bit more damage. And there is that 30% chance of the special attack drop every time as well. So, not that that really would have mattered. But, like, if I'd got five drops on him or something, then, you know. <laughs> but, we'll go for one more game. And, fingers crossed, it'll be a good one. I'm, I'm sure I say that in every video. It's always nice to have a good game, isn't it? An enjoyable game. Else, else I'm sitting here pressing buttons on a blooming game that I'm not even enjoying, and what a sad state of affairs that would be. Let's change the music. And, um, hopefully, we'll get someone good, be nice. Okay, well, you know, if this is, if this is the last video with the Gravity Team, then, um, you know, I hope you've enjoyed the run. I know that it's, you know, maybe worn thin a little bit, uh, I have used it quite a lot, but um, you know, getting getting the Pokemon in game is a little bit of a problem. I have been recording this a few days earlier, so I think by now, um, hopefully, I will have this new team in game. Um, I might do some more showdown this week as well. Uh, maybe I don't know. We'll see. Um, but uh, here we go. To finish off, we have another Japanese opponent with ooh a nasty team. Yeah. I don't like, see this is like, there are ways around it, but Rayquaza, Kyogre is a pairing that I, I never like seeing, even though he's got lots of nice little ice weak Pokemon there, so my Kyurem's going to have a really happy time, I'm not really feeling it too much, I mean we'll go with, we'll go with Sableye Kyurem, and we've got Groudon, I think we've got to do it this way, but, um, Raichu could be a problem, Ferrothorn could be a problem, I don't think Landorus or Crobat will be too much of a problem. Maybe the Landorus if he brought it in the back. Um, Crobat, if they bring it, is normally the lead. And I don't think he'll lead with Crobat here. Salamence, Kyogre. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, at least, you know, we're finishing off with two... Um, two of the main archetypes. I mean, there are there are a few more archetypes now, like you know the whole Dialga Trick Room business, and um, maybe even Gravity. You could say is a, is an archetype. But uh, you know, Big Six with Amoongus and Rayquaza Kyogre with um, Crobat and Raichu, which is fairly and Ferrothorn, which is very common as well. So uh, two typical teams to finish it, I suppose. The guy almost timed out. Let's see them. What's he gonna bring? I'm expecting a Raichu lead. Raichu Ferrothorn, maybe? That would be nasty. That is. Oh, okay. That is a Raichu and a Crobat. Well, mm, I. <laughs> I don't mind that, because it means if he's brought Rayquaza and Kyogre, which I'm suspecting he will, um, he doesn't have Ferrothorn in the back, which is good. Uh, and he doesn't have Landorus in the back, which is okay as well. Um, he's going to go for a fake out here on Kyurem, you would have to imagine. And a Tailwind, maybe? So I'm going to taunt 
and um, I'm going to taunt and ice beam. I mean, I'm expecting a fake out here, but I'm going to ice beam B Raichu just in case he doesn't. Yeah, but he does. Because the Tailwind isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, he might have a mental herb here. Which he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Um, okay. And because he did use Fake Out, that means we can swap our moves and go for a Gravity and a Blizzard, basically. Um, the only problem with this is if the Raichu survives, which he should do, and he has Nuzzle, which he probably will do, and he paralyzes my Kiram, which Nuzzle will. So... Again, I could go for another Ice Beam onto the Raichu, because if it's not Focus Sash, that should knock it out, I would think. But, um, I don't think anything he's got in the back. I mean, maybe the Kyogre can take, can come in easily on a Blizzard. So maybe maybe he's going to switch his Crobat into the Kyogre here. Um, but either way, I think, yeah, just Gravity and Blizzard. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, there's probably Kyogre coming in. That doesn't look like a Kyogre. Oh, it is a Kyogre. I need to brush up on my uh, Kyogre squizzle, squiggles, I think. So, hmm. If he does go for a Nuzzle, then, you know, obviously it's not going to do much damage. It wouldn't be the end of the world. I've still got Quash. Because, unfortunately, you can't taunt Nuzzle. Which is one, one of the reasons why Nuzzle is actually a pretty nice move. And, oh, that is a Sash, is it? Yeah, okay. So either way, uh, Focus Sash with Volt Switch. And he targets a Sableye, okay. That did a lot of damage, actually, for a Volt Switch. Maybe he's got the um, Magnet. Volt Switch. Yeah, that is that is the special one, isn't it? Volt Switch. You know, my next track, Volt Switch. Um, okay, interesting. Well, if he's got Rayquaza, that's not going to want a Blizzard. If, if he brings in Kyogre again, then that's not going to take a Blizzard. So, either way, I'm Blizzarding this turn, this next turn. And an Ice Beam, like it'll do 40% or something to um, Kyogre, but it won't threaten me too much unless it freezes me. So, I'm just going to go for a, a Faint and Blizzard, really. Because if I knock, like, if he does leave his Rayquaza in here, because he might protect the, the Rayquaza. If he leads, if he leaves the Rayquaza in, and I do knock it out, then my Groudon is very happy. Yeah, he's leaving it in. Um, and unless this is an Assault Vest, or just a really specially bulky um, Rayquaza, this Blizzard should be knocking it out. He might be going for, like, an Extreme Speed Ice Beam or something. Yeah, he's going for an Extreme Speed. Which does a lot of damage, actually. Is that banded? If it is banded, then this blizzard is knocking it out. That is not doing much damage. Ooh. Um, ooh, that was scary. I thought the, um, the bar was going really slowly down on that Rayquaza there. But an Ice Beam, yeah, we'll probably... Ooh, what? Okay. Or you can Water Spout. Which my Kirin will survive. Okay. So you've got to imagine he will be bringing in his Raichu here. He's got Raichu and Crobat. And I have got Gravity. The Raichu is definitely coming in here. So, do I want Limbs got all growled on? Raichu doesn't learn, like, roleplay or anything, does it? I think we'll put Groudon out. Because if he if he doesn't fake out my Kyurem, then both of his Pokemon are taking a Precipice Blade. And he can't switch Crobat into a Precipice Blade. If he uses Fake Out on the Groudon, then he's losing his Raichu. And his Kyogre's taking some damage, but if he doesn't switch it out, 
then he's lost the Weather War, and if he does switch it out, then the Crowbar's going down as well. So I think either way, we're, we're sitting quite happily. I mean, even... Yeah. I think... I think we're okay. I think he might fake out the Kiram and bring in Crobat or something, but even then, Gravity's up and he's losing both of them. I think we're in a good position. That extreme speed did a lot of damage. Okay, fake out onto the Groudon. Okay, so he's losing his Raichu here. And is he going to Ice Beam the Groudon as well? Or is he going to knock out the Kiram? He's knocking out the Kiram, okay. So, out comes Whimsicott. And out comes Crobat. So we have still got Gravity here. I'm pretty sure we have still got Gravity. So, whatever I'm doing here... I'm going for a Precipice Blade, um, and I'm going for a Grass Whistle onto the Kyogre as well. If he quick guards, then an Ice Beam isn't knocking out my Groudon. If he's going for like a Super Fang Ice Beam on my Groudon, then I'm putting the Kyogre to sleep. So I think this just covers our bases really. I think we'll be fine doing this. I'm pretty sure it'll have a Lumberry, that Crobat as well, so you know I'm not going to waste my Grass Whistle on that. Yeah, you don't see Crobat with Protect, either. Maybe you'll Protect his Kyogre and Tailwind or whatever, I don't know, but I've got Encore. So, yeah, so we maybe he's going for the Super Fang Ice Beam play here. Yeah, there's a Super Fang. There's a Precipice Blade. And that is a Crobat that can't have a Focus Slash, can it? Because the Raichu did. And actually, that just knocks the Kyogre straight out. Wow. So maybe that was just a, a fast, you know, either modest or timid, no bulk Kyogre. Because <laughs> Groudon doesn't normally knock them out that way, uh, you know, from that health. So, you know, hurrah! You know, as, as Barry descends into darkness, the evening uh, comes upon Lincoln. And, um... I hope you've enjoyed this guys, I know it's been a bit of a stretch with this gravity team, so thanks a lot for sticking with me, I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, so, what is there more to say? Thank you gravity team, maybe I'll revisit it again at some point in the future, um, but thanks a lot for watching this guys, and please like, please share, do all the very nice things that you can do, and uh, goodbye for now, thank you.